Another developing story we're following. The community is reacting as questions continue to pile up in the case of a father charged with murder after leaving his son in a hot car. Channel 2's Carl Willis is live in Cobb County where police await autopsy results. And those results are taking a bit longer than usual to come back with the medical examiner asking for additional information from Cobb County investigators. And today we also learned that police, after hearing the father's initial story, obtained search warrants and traced his steps back to his workplace. A father spends one more night in jail accused of murder and the death of his son that he says was an accident. The emotional response is growing and defense attorneys are weighing in. It seems like it's a rush to judgment in this situation. I think a lot more evidence could be developed before inflicting this on the family. But Cobb County police say there was no rush in their investigation. Channel 2 Action News found out that after they were initially told that the death of 22-month-old Cooper Harris was just a tragic mistake, police obtained search warrants for Justin Harris's workplace. That's at the Home Depot satellite office near the main campus on Paces Ferry. If he mistakenly left his child in the car, what other evidence is there that would cause Cobb County to charge him with felony murder? The charges suggest investigators suspect something more. I assume they found... They think they've found something in these search warrants that might support that charge. I do still think it's early, and there probably should be more investigation. The daycare is located just a few blocks away from Harris's office, and there are both outside and covered parking spots available there. Meanwhile, an online petition to have murder charges dropped is growing in numbers. The public is willing to give somebody who's accused, in this kind of case, the benefit of the doubt. Now, Harris's bond hearing is set for 25 days from now on July 15th. Meanwhile, we may not get autopsy results until next week. Reporting live in Cobb County, Carl Willows, Channel 2, Action News, Nightbeat. And we will continue to follow every new development on this story. You can also join the discussion on our Facebook page. Several hundred people have already commented just within the last 90 minutes.